Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator, where last time we built this thing, our McLaren F1. If you missed that video, I'll link to it in the description down below. It was a super cool car to work on. It cost a lot of money to actually build this thing, and we took a loan to build it. So today, we're gonna say goodbye to the McLaren F1, and we're gonna sell it for 17 million credits in this game. Give me one second, all right? The loan is paid off. Now, we're down to 7.7 .7 million bucks in the bank, and we also traded in some of that money for some extra barn finds. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head to the barn and cross fingers that we can find today's car. This is one of the barn finds in Car Mechanic Simulator. They are seriously cool. However, you just kind of need to hope that the vehicle you want actually spawns in here. <gasps> no way! No joke, I was so close to giving up! Say hello to the definitely not a Lamborghini Diablo. Not to be rude or anything, but um, it's got more miles than your mum. Yeah, uh, this is probably the most driven Lamborghini in the world. How much is a jank looking Lambo gonna cost? No way, 80,000 bucks. All right, well, I guess we'll take it. Thank you very much. And we will go back to the garage. I do have some new things that I actually wanted to try in this game. There's been some theories going around the internet that you can make extra money on your vehicles. We will find out right now though. So I've already lost 6,000 credits on the Lambo, but let's take it over to the car wash and let's clean up our very, very nasty looking Lamborghini. So I guess it's red or like purple underneath there. Yo, that's a cool color. All right. What a sick looking car. Yo, I could sell that as a brand new car. Yay, I've only lost 5,000 bucks now. Obviously, we're gonna need some new parts. Like, we're gonna change out the brake pads and the brake discs regardless. Overall, though, this car, the condition, looks really... Never mind. Let's raise you up into the air. Mission number one, let's get all of these nasty wheels off. And then once we've done that, we can take a look at the suspension ourselves, which uh, definitely looks a bit sus. How do you get a rim this rusty? The rim is made of more rust than it is metal. I have a feeling though, we're gonna end up taking off a couple more parts than I really want to with this. We also need to buy some other upgrades for our garage today. I'm not even sure what's left, but we'll take a look. Honestly, it actually isn't in that bad condition. Like, there's a little bit of rust on the suspension arms. We might chuck on a new, like, uh, shock absorber. Correction, this side we need to repair everything. Our gearbox is also very sus, and our engine is gross. Okay, maybe there's a little bit more work here than I thought. If I come to the inspection thing, what does it actually say the... Uh, All right, yeah, everything is coming off of this vehicle. This thing's gross. I definitely got ripped off when I bought this Lamborghini. I thought this would be a super easy, quick flip for us. No. Now that all of that gross front suspension is off, that looks really good now. Super clean. I, I guess we're gonna do the same thing to the rear. All right. Twitch chat says I should 2JZ swap this thing. I mean, we certainly can. Do we really want a 2JZ swap? a Lamborghini though? The majority of Twitch chat is saying do it. 2JZ swap a Lamborghini Diablo. A lot of people are probably gonna yell at us online once they find out what we've done. But eh, what will you do? Before we end up pulling the engine out, drain that nasty oil. Yo, there was like nothing in there. I wonder how long this Diablo has been sitting. Anyways, come on down to the ground. That actually looks really, really cool. I love the color of this thing. Anyways, though, now I can use the engine crane to pull that Lamborghini V12 engine out of this thing. Last thing that has to go is all of this stuff in the fuse box. All right. I think we need to focus on this very unique engine. I obviously have my V12 DOHC or... I've got two straight sixes. Let's head into this other room and over to our engine stand and create a new engine. This is our 2JZ with a turbocharger strapped to it. That is so cool. We've now got to rebuild this engine completely. As we've done in the past with our vehicles, I want to actually max upgrade this thing. I want to see how fast we can make this car. We're going to come to our salvage container in here 
and upgrade those parts even more. So our alternator is getting a massive boost of horsepower. That's sick. Same thing for our fuel filter and same thing for all of the parts. Let the engine build commence. Get all of these parts strapped on. I wanna see how much extra horsepower we're gonna get from our turbo as well. Look at all of my pistons. Every single one of these is getting the boost. Let's go. Toss all of these upgraded pistons in now. That is so sick. Let's go. You know what the nice thing is about working on an i6 though? There's just way less parts on this than there would be on a big old V12. So we're actually gonna save time by doing this. We're actually making fantastic progress for this engine. There is our monster turbocharger that actually isn't really that big. Hopefully we can get some good upgrades on that. So we're getting plus 4% extra horsepower from the turbo. That's sweet. So wait, I want to actually look at this thing because I see one turbo there. Wait, we're twin turbo. No way. That is so sick though. Proper twin turbo to Jay-Z. I think we're done this. I don't think there's any parts that I forgot to put on. It looks perfectly good. Now for the moment of truth. Let's take this thing from the engine stand and try to get it in the back of our Lamborghini. Twitch chat, are there any cars that have a mid-engine 2JZ? Uh, all right, that's a bit of an issue. Nobody paid too close attention to that, all right? Before I start worrying about any of that stuff, let's get all of our suspension stuff back in. Realistically now, with all of these parts we've got, this should be a two-minute rebuild for the suspension now. I think we definitely made the right call in not shortcutting this thing. That looks a thousand times better. The other thing is we're not going to do our brake calipers just yet because I will get some custom paint for them. So Twitch chat, what color should we paint our brake calipers? Before we do go and paint our brake calipers, let's do the rear suspension and get these fuel tanks back in. So our fuel tanks are in. I will need a new gearbox for this thing actually, now that I think about it. But like I said, before we come to any of that, let's get all of this suspension. It actually blows my mind how quickly we can rebuild these cars now. Now that all of our suspension's done, I'm gonna hit up the paint shop. If I come over to my toolbox and I go to my garage upgrades, I can get a paint shop level two. Adds advanced paint color palette and paint type to your paint shop. I mean, it's an absurdly expensive upgrade, but it's something we're gonna do anyways. However, there is paint shop level three custom color mixing to your paint. So we now have this in here and let's go back to the brake calipers. And now I've got tons of options in here. I mean, do we want to go red? Maybe a darker red? Maybe a, like a dark, dark red? I don't know. Uh, somebody in Twitch chat actually says yellow. I very much like that idea, actually. Yeah. Here we go. Brake calipers in... No, wrong one. Yellow brake calipers installed. Very good shout on the yellow brakes, Twitch. Let's just not pay attention to how jank that gearbox looks in there, all right? That is a lesson in why you do not modify the mod. Anyways, let's get all of this little stuff in, and then we'll need some wheels. How are steering in a Lamborghini Diablo? Wait, that's not right. Lamborghini Diablos do not have power steering. They, they do now. <laughs> Let's get our wheels on now. Obviously, I've got to go a little bit bigger than the ones that were on here. So they were 245. We're going to go up to 275. And 335, let's go 355. Ooh, you know what? I could get yellow tire letters. Yeah, 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 we're doing that. And now let's get them balanced up. I think I might have chose the wrong side. That's more like it, Lamborghini Diablo. Hopefully these fit because I've changed the tire size a bunch. You know what? That's actually not bad. That's not bad. It's definitely a lot of sidewall. Like I could have gone more aggressive. Like, I could have gone, like, with a 20-inch or a 21-inch tire, but that's fine. Yo, and look at the front fitment. That is, like, perfect. Those are so cool on there. Now, if I check the car status now, pretty much everything should be on 100%, except for all of the body panels. So, I guess since we've come so far, let's, let's do it properly and fix up these body panels. So, doors. I do have customization for this car. I've got modified bumpers and, and trunks and headlights. Yes, I, I've, I've got to go with all of this. So this is where I've actually got some modified parts. You can see the difference. This one is white like vents coming out and the modified one is black. 
Okay, that should be really cool. Rear bumper, I've also got two options. You can see it adds like a really cool diffuser. I love that. That's gonna pop once we get our paint job done. Hood, we've got two different options. No way. The regular one's super, super clean. The modified one is debadged with like a grill in the min in the middle. That looks awesome. Yo, and look at the difference in these headlights. Wait a second. No. The modified ones are built into the body kind of like that. No, 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 no. When you're given the option of pop-up headlights, you take the pop-up headlights. And then last but not least, we've got our front bumper. Two different options. A regular road one or a race car one. Y'all already know which one we're going with. That is sick. Are we thinking bright yellow to match my brakes? That is so Lamborghini. That is so sick, actually. We nailed it. Let's go. 1,000 bucks. Thank you. There's actually liveries for this car, so I could put some stripes on it. Yo, that's so cool. I'm not gonna do that, but that is very, very cool. One other thing I need to do, obviously I need to get a wheel alignment. Jeez. Moment of truth though, dino. Let's see what our two JZ can actually do. I mean, that's a very interesting power curve, but yo, 500 horsepower nearly. Wait, that's like, that's like the same as a Lamborghini Diablo in real life. That's pretty good. Like I said at the very beginning of this episode, there are some new theories that have been going around the internet. Apparently, you can devalue your own car by taking it to the test track. So this vehicle right now, after everything that I've done to it, 175 or 176,000 credits. However, if I jump in... Let's go take this thing to the top speed track and see what speed it can hit. I'm not expecting very much at all. A Lamborghini Diablo with turbo flutter. <laughs> I don't know why, but that makes me so happy. The 2JZ in this game isn't the most powerful. That is a really good looking car though. However, I, I think we can make this a little bit better. Now, what is the value of my car gonna be? Have I devalued it? No, no way. The internet lied to me? Ah, uh, pish posh. I think I can make this a little bit better. Yeah, that's a little bit better on the old horsepower. 2,600 horsepower. 2JZ measured horsepower, 4,000 horsepower. All right, that's gotta be quick now. Nice little burnout off the line. <laughs> Let's go, Dia. Oh boy. Oh, it's a. Uh... Oh. I think I might need all wheel drive because this is now a death trap. The horsepower is still exactly the same. However, now we have all wheel drive. Attempt number, I have no idea anymore. All wheel drive, Lamborghini Diablo. Let's see what we can do. It's a little bit hesitant to go through the gears, if I'm honest, but there's 100 miles an hour. There is 150 miles an hour. We're really not picking up speed you would have that you would have thought. We're definitely going faster than we were before, that's for sure. There's 270 miles an hour. I, I don't think the 2JZ in this game is very good. I love how it's spinning its wheels constantly. After all of that, I think I can definitely tell you they absolutely nerf the 2JZ in this game. I have no idea why. This is a 4,000 horsepower engine. And it's just, it's not that fast, unfortunately. Awesome little car. What car should we find next in the barn? Let me know.